Welcome back to the Anchor Designs workshop. We're going to be making a base, a strong base. Let's get started. Now I'm going to start off by saying that uh, milling machines should be bolted down. They, they, they should, because that's what everybody tells you that they should. So um, for vibrations and stability and everything like that. Now uh, with my workshop, and I know there's other people out there that like to have everything on wheels and casters to be able to move things, reposition things, and then maybe, maybe, maybe one day I'll find a, a layout and a position that I like and I will, I'll commit to drilling holes in the, in the, in the floor. Uh, now, getting on to my design, I started off with um, just drawing sketches, some rough basic X and Y dimensions of the base of the milling machine. I then have drawn everything up in Fusion 360, and the original intention was to have a, a, a very, very strong welded together assembly uh, that looks something like this, and it has lots of small uh, support kind of gusset plates that are supporting each level of the machine and it's pretty complicated catalated joints it it's a very very intricate design and it's way over engineered for for what it needed to um needed to be done now i shared some of these plans on instagram and a good friend of mine actually said why don't you just make a bolt uh, bolt together one which is genius uh so the challenge was to then redesign it uh, so no welding is going to exist. So the reason why I'm making this video is if you've got something heavy uh, Maybe this would be a good idea for um, For your good selves So I'll show you what I've got So this is what I have come up with. We've got some more bits um, alongside uh, Just slightly out of frame here, but this will give you the general gist So we've got a 600 by 600 by 10 millimeter s355 uh, bit of mild steel plate this has had a thermal process on this, so it has been uh, cut via a, a laser cutting machine. And um, we've basically got the 10.2 standard uh, M12 tapping size on the base. And then we've got uh, 12 millimeter through holes through these. So how the general gist of this goes. We have the packers here. And what this is nice for is this is going to give me um, the kind of the option to, to raise and lower the height uh, depending on the ergonomics. But I feel that this is uh, this is OK. I've, I've blocked up the mill and kind of had a play to see what I liked. And then we've got a top plate onto here uh, that will be bolted through and then tapped. And then all these are M12 millimeter by 75. Uh, that's really going to cramp this uh, cramp this together. We have got uh, casters with enough uh, rotational swing round here to get clearance on these um, on these uh, packer plates here, and we've also got on uh, on the sides and the uh, the forward this to have the ability to move uh, via a wheeled I don't know what you call it a wheeled mover. It's the same on my bandsaw, my wood lathe, and the table saw. So when you are kind of uh, working on something like this, you, you've got to kind of think of uh, what if, what if this happens, how does this work, and then is it going to be ergonomic, is it going to be movable, are you going to hit your feet? My kind of annoyance that I kind of had with the Mark 1 design is that I had all these gusset plates in between 50mm centres and the swarf and the build-up and the dust would have got, uh, you know, in the side and I think it would have really annoyed me and you'd have to vacuum out every one every time that you use the mini machine. The beauty of this with having the straight spacers uh, is that you can just get a brush and I've left enough clearance for a sweeping brush uh, to get either side of the machine. Now there are certain things that might be questioned why I could have made this cheaper by just having basically put a load of washers or packers or, or something instead of doing it this way but I feel this will optimise and give me the most amount of strength as possible. Now, in addition to this, we're also going to be thinking about how are we wiring up the milling machine? How are we going to be um, putting on a digital readout if we want it to have? So you'll notice on one of the plates, uh, we've got some uh, four, uh, four holes here that are positioned for a base plate. Now, this base plate here, uh, this isn't the right bit of box section. Uh, this is for an inch by inch uh, section size here that can be welded onto there and then we'll be, bolt, it will be bolted onto here. And it's just going to give that a little bit of um, more rigidity and strength as well as um, being kind of a, a 
bolt-on accessory to the base. And you'll notice that the holes either side of these again and the forward part of the milling machine has this option of being moved around with a little with the puller now i'm going to talk casters uh, these aren't kind of you you know run of the mill get them from screw fix and the for your office chair type uh, caster here these are uh, an industrial uh self leveling or adjustable leveling I, I, I don't know the, the correct name but these are uh, from amazon and the combined weight for all four casters which will be in here is three ton um i'm of the strong opinion that nothing too strong has, has ever broken and it's nice that these have these adjustable levelers here uh, so you you know if you need clearance of, of getting it through your drive when you come to move and then you can take the weight off the casters via this adjustment screw. The next day. So we've had everything kind of bolted all together now. We've got definitely enough clearance uh, across each side of the wheel. Uh, it has all been torqued down, uh, so it's all very, very, very even. And we're kind of ready. There's not really a lot more that I can kind of do now to it. Uh, I will consider painting this when I've done all the work to the milling machine and, and maybe maybe do a colour match to it. The future digital readout slash control panel box, uh, we had these uh, plates uh, cut and it fits a 25 by 25 by uh, 3 mil bit of box section here. And uh, I don't know if this is going to be strong enough, but I feel after this has been bolted down in this location, it feels really strong. So I'm hoping it's going to be okay, but... Um, it will have a longer length in there, of course, whilst it's, um, uh, when it's been installed. And it also gives us a way that we can run the cabling uh, through the bottom of this base and then uh, to the back of where the motor is roughly going to be sat here. Now, the reason why I did this as well is this, this also kind of covers the casters from um, any ingress of dirt uh, to actually be getting into here. And of course, we've got these positions here that we can move around with our little moving aid. So I think we're pretty much ready now. Uh, I should have probably built this on the floor as it's, um, as it's pretty heavy. Uh, but I'm going to put it on the floor and um, let's just put the mill on it. See what happens if it snaps in half then, uh, yeah, issue. Now one thing that you might not have, uh, have, have noticed that the, the four holes for the milling machine is not actually in this plate. And the reason behind that is, is that I tried to take some measurements, but because it's a cast base, they were kind of a little bit all over the place. Um, so I'm gonna put the milling machine on, drill through the plates, take the mill off and then bolt through and uh, tap this down and uh, make sure it's all very evenly torqued to avoid any damage to the castings of the base. And that's going to be a wrap for this episode. It's been about a week since the previous footage that you've just seen. Uh, I like to make sure that everything's, um, well, it's still on there. It hasn't broken. I've retorked everything and uh, nothing, nothing required any, um, any more talking. So uh, really pleased with the results. It moves very, very easily. It's not top heavy at all. Um, it's not going to be, you know, falling over. There's so much weight in this, uh, in this machine. It's, um, it's fantastic. So we'll be bolting this down, leveling the machine and then putting this directly onto the floor. Um, there's going to be some questions, probably good and bad feedback and I, and I welcome all. I really, really do. I thought I might have needed some, uh, some bracings across the top, but I just, I just haven't needed anything. So, um, as you can see, more work has, has, has taken since the last footage and uh, we will continue to do so. So if you do want to see a little bit more of that, be sure to follow us on Instagram over at Anchor Designs GB. Uh, with that in mind, 
we'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching thank you